Hello, uh, this is uh, a little video that I have done no preparation for and that I'm definitely just winging. Uh, my name is Matthew Munoz. I am an author, artist, and commentator. And these are my offhand remarks on what the heck I've been doing and what I'm going to be doing. Um, I guess this could technically be like a channel update thing. Maybe I'll handle those in offhand remarks from now on. I don't know. Uh, I've been trying to do a lot with offhand remarks and make it kind of a, a multiple time a week. Uh, opportunity for me to talk about stuff, think about things, and uh, share um, what I have to say on various topics. And uh, if you don't believe me, um, sorry, uh, just the halting speech reminds me of Obama so much. Um, not that he wasn't elegant or eloquent and um, and so clean, but um, sorry. <laughs> uh, only uh, 90s kids will get that reference. Uh, anyway, um, so I want to keep doing offhand, offhand remarks. This isn't really how I want to be using it most of the time. Uh, maybe I'll do one of these once a month. Um, but I'll go ahead and just talk and share what's been going on with me. Um, I took off the month of August. And then as August was coming to a close, I looked at my blog. Uh, because, you know, I'm a writer. And I thought that, uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and take off. Um, or, no, I took off July. And then I was going to take off August as well. Today is August, uh, I don't know, 23rd or something like that. Uh, it's a Thursday, if it matters to you. Uh, and anyway, I thought that I would have a really good opportunity um, to finish a, a, a project that I've been meaning to do for a long time. And I made some good headway on it. And then my certain things in my life kind of derailed. And the little time that I had for doing whatever I wanted to, I didn't use for writing. And instead I used for... Uh, relaxation so that I didn't burn myself out. So here we are. It's uh, almost the last week of uh, August. Um, Toku Timber, September's coming up, and uh, I participated in something last year, not as much as I would have wanted to, in the month of September, put on by, um, oh man, the artist behind the webcomic Yellow Peril and other stuff. Angry Zen Master is what he goes by on Twitter and maybe Tumblr. Uh, anyway, he's a fan of tokusatsu and other super heroic stuff, and um, he... Whoa, 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 whoa! Somebody almost hit me. That was crazy. Anyway, um, he... <laughs> that was scary. Uh, you know in Jackie Chan Adventures, whenever Jackie Chan would do something crazy, uh, cartoon Jackie Chan would, uh, like, pat his heart and breathe? Uh, that's what I feel like doing right now. Wow. So, anyway, um... So Angry Zen Master, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, he put on this event last year. Uh, I think 2017 was the first year he did it, where for the month of September, he picked out uh, like an agenda for every day and challenged people or invited people to join him in doing art based on that topic relating to tokusatsu, which is a Japanese superhero genre, or not superhero genre, a Japanese uh, like film fiction genre, mostly live action. Um, and what falls under that is Godzilla, which is called Kaiju, which you might be familiar with now because of uh, the Kaiju, uh, or the Kaiju in um, Pacific Rim and Pacific Rim 2. Uh, there's Ultraman in there. Some people might be uh, familiar with that guy. Uh, actually, there's lots of Ultramen. Uh, I think right now the current Ultraman is Ultraman RB. And uh, anyway, um, so it's like science fiction. Uh, sometimes they can go fantasy, maybe, I think. Anyway, but Tokusatsu has a lot of uh, interesting stuff in it. And uh, it, it supposedly means Japanese or in Japanese special effects, uh, but it kind of also means a genre of special effects shows because lots of shows have special effects in them. And uh, it's particularly the ones that have to do with heroes. So like it's come to mean it like its own genre or type of like there are very specific things that are tokusatsu in Japan. Um, and uh, it's a little hard to define, but uh, we have American tokusatsu, so to speak, in Power Rangers. Uh, Power Rangers is an adaptation of Super Sentai, uh, which was started by, um, gosh, the company Toei. Uh, Bandai got in there at some point for making toys, and uh, they work with them. But Shotaro Ishinomori, the, uh, I think he's the king of manga, because I think Tezuka's the god of manga. Uh, manga is the Japanese comic books. Um, but anyway, um, sorry, I'm blanking. Uh, Shotaro Ishinomori created 
Cyborg 009, which was originally a manga, which is getting an awesome, uh, like, super clean, super fresh discotheque media release uh, of the anime that was created in the early 2000s, I believe. Um, and you can see a lot of Osama Tezuka's style in Ishinomori's work, and that's because Ishinomori worked under Tezuka for some time before he branched off and did his own thing. Um, anyway, he created Cyborg 009. He created, uh, which is actually really interesting, uh, with me being a pacifist and uh, anti-military or anti-government and like way pro piece. Um, the villain in Cyborg 009 is called Black Ghost, and it's basically a bunch of uh, war profiteers, and that's super cool. Uh, Ishinomori also he created a bunch of stuff, but the stuff that I know is that uh, Android Kikaider, um, which is a, basically like a Kind of like if you took the story of Pinocchio, but instead of a puppet, it's a robot and instead of, or an android. Um, and instead of, uh, um, like, he, anyway, it's interesting. It's like kind of what is life and what is a human and that kind of thing. It, it talks about those different issues and there's evil robots that he has to fight and they're all based on animals and they have neat designs. And uh, Ishinomori has a very good cinematic eye, so his comics look great, especially in Comixology, which is, I think, the only place you can get them. Um, for the most part, uh, and anyway, uh, so, Com Comixology has those digitally, there's a bunch of them, there's Inazuman, which I haven't read, or Inazuman, there's Common Writer or Masked Writer, which I read all of, and it's, it's wonderful, um, but anyway, so Tokusatsu is a genre of, like, now it's basically superhero fiction in Japan, and then there's transforming heroes, there's heroes that grow giant, um, and there's just, like, the giant monsters as well, and uh, also because of the Super Sentai, which Ishinomori created as well. Um, his first Super Sentai was Go Ranger, and it kind of went on. It's a more, it's a more complicated, more nuanced history than what I'm giving you. I'm just giving you the basics. Um, but that's, uh, well, that's, those are the base facts. Anyway, so Tokusatsu is something I found and really enjoy, and it's something I've been into for like the last eight years. And uh, I decided to draw last year, and I'm going to do it again, but I'm also going to be, in up until this first week of September, finishing writing my breastfeeding book. And, um, yeah, that's, that's something. So I'll have to really discipline myself and stay on top of my uh, self for pacing that out just right so that I uh, can have fun enjoying the Toku Timber challenge thing and also um, take care of business and get this book finished that I want to get finished. So, anyway... Uh, just life is crazy, um, but you, uh, you gotta go out and get it, I guess. Uh, so, I don't know. The hustle never dies, but you gotta, you gotta rest and take care of yourself, which is what I'm trying to do, too. And my family, of course, because they're very important to me. Uh, that's really all I have to say. Peace out. Um, I'm not gonna plug anything, because this is just an update thing. So, uh, that's it. Toodaloo, y'all. I mean, yeah, I'll end it there. <laughs>